All right. So uh, just to give you a heads up, guys, Gabriella has been with us for uh, almost two weeks, right, Gabriella? She has worked with uh, one VA uh, just this week, but uh, unfortunately, they, it didn't work out. So she is looking for another VA that would definitely fit her in terms of uh, the business and, uh, of course, the, the communications within the two of them. So, yeah, I hope one of you is a good fit, and I'm pretty sure for that. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We have two, four, five VAs that you can talk to right now, uh, Gabriella. If you don't mind sharing a bit of yourself and your business, please, before we get started. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Hello, Christine, Hannah, Eden, Danica, Kate, and Hannah. Uh, very nice to meet you. You're all looking beautiful. Um, my name is uh, obviously Gabriella. I am South Brazilian originally. Um, I'm half German, half Italian, and I always like to give my background because um, I'm a bit. Of, I'm a word citizen by these days because I'm normally I live in Australia, but I've been traveling the world since December, um, and I'm actually heading to New York in a couple of days. So, and I'm saying this because my virtual system would have to just also travel with me um, as I go in sense of something very, very important, VPN. Um, the reason why it didn't work out with the last virtual assistant was because, like the reason why I, we had to end was because I there's something really, 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 really important that every VA should know, which is always logging in in the social media account using the same location that the client is currently in. And I told her that this was the most important thing because once a few years ago, I nearly lost my Facebook account. I got locked up for months. And for an online business owner, that means no income. And yesterday I woke up with my Instagram account flag just hacked and it took me a few emails back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for me to unlock it. And my engagement is down because of it. And it was because she forgot to put her VPN in Brazil, which is where I'm at right now. It was logged in from the Philippines and it got flagged as hacked. So this is the most important thing. Like you must have a VPN scrambler and you must know how to use it. And you can absolutely not forget <laughs> to turn it on. Um, and I swear it's gonna get easier because I'm gonna stay one month in the States in New York. So it's gonna be easy for you to log in, log out. But if I move countries, I would let you know. So this is like a requirement, even Naomi, like it's having a VPN scrambler, it's a non-negotiable. I am a business coach for women. I've been studying psychology for 12 years. Um, I'm a very down-to-earth woman, very fun, very light. My branding, if you, if you have the time to, to have a look, it's very um, kind of young. And I work with magnetism. I work with neuromarketing. And I basically help women become confident in business. And I give them an, an attraction-based strategy so they can actually attract their clients. Um, we have generated good revenue for the business um, last year. This year is a bit quiet because I'm traveling and I'm adjusting my virtual system. I'm adjusting how I do things, but I'm looking for someone. I'm not sure if Naomi already gave what I'm looking for, but I'm going to say it again. I'm looking for someone to basically, someone that, someone that I can say things once and she, I don't know if it's my internet that is a bit, Slow, hold on a minute. Yeah, I think it's your internet. Is it the kitty? You're cutting in and out, Gabriella. Can you guys hear me? Your. Hello? Oh, shit. Am I frozen? Damn it. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can. Oh,
sa internet niya. Shadow Pine Serious Girls. <laughs> Where your smile? <laughs> there she is. Back. <laughs> yeah, you're back. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but so basically, I'm looking for a VA that um, can take directions that I can say things once and you're going to remember that you're going to have that notice very organized um i am not organized so i need someone to be organized for me <laughs> and the more organized my virtual assistant is the more i'm gonna love her the more i'm gonna reward her and you know i want to start with someone part-time but the idea is to have someone full-time working for me and you know and the more i can trust the more important tasks i'll be giving I consider myself to be a very generous boss, but I'm looking for someone that, uh, you know, do customer service, to talk to people, to book calls, book appointments. I need someone to be very, very familiar with social media in the sense that I have videos that I want to be transferred to other social medias. I have videos that I want to be transformed into um, small reels, for example, and it's nothing out of, out of like, you know, nothing super different but just someone that is switched on that's the most important thing so i think that's it naomi in some all right thank you for sharing gabriella okay so uh let's get started do you have the questions ready for them yes so the first question i want to know such a shame that my computer completely went kaput um is that what are your experiences? I want to hear, like, what is it your experience doing virtual? I'm back on my computer. Yay. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, can you repeat the question? Your line set up. Sorry. Um, what is your experience? as a virtual assistant and managing people's accounts and talking to people on their accounts. All right, just unmute yourself, ladies. Hannah, yes. Hello, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom Gabriella. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So thank you. So um, hi, everyone. My name is Hannah Abigail of Vicanales. Um, I have experiencing um, taking calls uh, and live chat before in here in Concentrix in Cagayan de Oro. And also I am a virtual assistant um, telemarketer um, last year at Aves. And um, I became also a front desk officer in a dormital and also um, and a front office associate in a suites. And um, by the way, I'm Mom Gabriela. I specialize in um, social media management, um, appointment setter, and also um, taking calls or phone calls. Um, by the way, um, I am a um, virtual assistant last year, but I work as a telemarketer. So it is um, a professional administrator um, assistance to um, US based client, a transportation service company, um, which specialize in logistics, uh, more spe spe uh, specifically third party logistics. We offer um, competitive salary and benefits and also, um, okay, so that would be all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. We'll go next. Are you still there, Gabriella? We lost her again.
Gabriela, are you there? Bilawin mo ang baso din. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, you just probably turn up your video, Gabriella, so it would be more easy. Okay, I'm on my phone now, so it should be all right. All oh, right, perfect. Okay, who's next? Go, girls. Uh, I think I'll go next. Hello, guys. Um, hello, Gabriella. Good um, Good evening. <laughs> It's evening here in Manila. Um, my name is Dani Kaam. Um, you can call me Anika. Um, I graduated um, college with the uh, um, degree of mass communication. And then right before graduation, um, I started working in an outsource company. Um, it's an international company handling e-commerce um, business selling out cameras, high-end cameras. So most of our clients are um, professional uh, photographers. Um, I started there as a customer service um, assistant, and then um, I got promoted an escalation officer. So every uh, escalated calls, um, I read customers, so I have to deal with them. Then after probably a few years working in that outsource company, um, I started uh, working at home. So that's the time that um, I started looking for my own clients at home. Um, my first uh, work at home job is when I started um, doing um, customer service as well for again an e-commerce business. Um, they're selling out charms or bla uh, bracelets. Um, I'm doing customer support there, and then I'm also doing outbound calls, um, calling customers who filed for chargebacks. So I'm communicating with them, um, asking or at least convincing them to withdraw their disputes. So that's the uh, other job that I'm doing aside from doing customer support. And then um, when it comes to social media, I have also experience in handling their um, personal accounts, the uh, company's account. So I'm doing their um, same customer support kind of work, um, communicating with customers, checking the status of their order, tracking numbers, um, if they have complaints or issues with their orders. Um, I, I am the one who's answering their uh, Facebook Messenger accounts and um, Instagram. Um, I also have experience um, in uh, setting up account, uh, Facebook patient account and Instagram account because I started up my um, little business here in Manila where I put my own um, page. So I'm the one managing that page. Um, same, uh, posting PubMuts, uh, posting updates, and of course, um, boosting the page. So those are the experiences that I have. That's all. Okay. Can I go next? Okay. Okay, hi, hi everyone, hi Gabriella. Uh, my name is Kate, and I am a quantum virtual assistant since March 2022, this year. So right now, I'm working with one client here as a part-time in a quantum, uh, as a quantum VA. But before I became a virtual assistant, I worked in the customer service industry for nine years. So I'm, I am a former flight attendant in a local airline here in the Philippines. And while doing that, I was also doing content creation with my own brand since 2016. So I've been doing um, paid Instagram posts um, by, um, from other brands here in the Philippines and also TikTok and some vlogs in YouTube and Facebook. And during the pandemic, I also started working as a virtual assistant in a real estate company here in the Philippines. And then um, while doing that, I decided to pursue my career here as a virtual assistant and um, resigned as a flight attendant. And then after that, I applied here in quantum virtual assistant and get hired. And now I have one client and I'm looking for one. So hopefully you can hire me. That's it. Um, nice, Kate. Let me just ask, what kind of client do you have now? Like, is it a coach? Is it a consultant? What yeah. is she? Is, 
she's a fitness trainer. Okay, sweet. So she does like online courses and stuff like that? Yes. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Thanks, Cage. You too. You're welcome. Okay, All right. Yes. Okay. Hey, Gabriella. Hey, everyone. So my name is Christine Road. I have been working as a virtual assistant since 2018. I started working as an admin support and data entry specialist for a company in Chile. And when the pandemic happened, I was one of those who got laid off, but I made use of my employment gap to study social media again, because I have, uh, I know there's a lot of developments and improvements in social media since I started working uh, on social media in 20, I mean, since I was in high school, I am an active volunteer for charitable organizations. And one of my tasks is to handle, manage social media, um, basic video and photo editing. And um, in 2021, I started working as, an social, as a social media intern. And in that same year, I started working with a paying client, a business consultant. And since then, I've been working as a social media manager and basically focusing on content planning, content creation and content content writing for newsletters. I also contribute for newsletters and, but for the most part, my newsletter task is to create a template for my clients then, but I also contribute with blogs and newsletters. Do you have any experience with customer service like in setting up appointments? I don't have experience when it comes to customer service, but I've, I've been, um, training from Jason. So we have a training for um, appointment setting, but honestly, I'm an introvert. So honestly speaking, it's, it's hard for me to communicate, but I'm doing my best really to practice. And if I ever get hired by you, I'll be able to practice communication. Okay. With, with clients. Thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, I see you. So hi, hi Gabriella. Hi Ida. Uh, yeah. So my name is Eden May Umikin. So I have experience working as a virtual assistant. So uh, I work on digital marketing and administrative um, tasks. So I work on graphic design, on social media content, and I also um, managing some um, social media platform of my client. So my former client was was a social media marketer. So um, we handle different um, businesses. And so um, we do their content, um, we do their TikTok, uh, IG Reels and uh, Facebook Reels. So uh, I also have experience as a customer um, representative for almost one year. And, and I think um, I will be a, a best fit to your business since uh, I do the task not only for a uh, given task, but also I do it for a passion. So I think that is for now. Thank you. Eden, thanks. I think we have more to go, right? To teach Hannah how to go, Christina, Danica, Eden. I think that's all. Is that all? No, uh, yeah. Just the five of them. Just five. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I lost count. Okay. Um, another thing I would like to ask is, I suppose, how experienced are you with video editing? All of you, right? Video editing and like, Video editing, basically, that's the biggest thing. And also like some art creation, because that's something that I would need girls to do at some point. Okay, uh, um, can, I, can I start? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when it comes to video editing and photo editing, I would say I'm, I, I'm on the basic side. I can edit, I can, edit videos, I've done that for my school before and for my clients before. And I also uh, use K 
Canva for photo editing. So I'm really just on the basic side. I'm not really a Photoshop person, just the very basic. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Mm, sweet. Right. Who would like to go next? Kate? Oh, yeah, hi. So when it comes to video editing, so as I've mentioned earlier, I've been doing contents for my own brand. Um, so basically my contents are videos, which I edit myself that I upload on YouTube. Also, I also create content on TikTok. It's a daily vlog of myself and um, Instagram Reels. And also I connect that to my uh, Facebook as well. And when it comes to photo editing, um, just like Christine, I also use Canva. And that's the thing also I also use with my client today um, to do posting and promotion for events or just a simple post like um, creating quotes or um, doing posts for the brand. So that's it. Thanks, Gage. Great. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I, I think I, I'll go next. Uh, when it comes to photo editing, I, same with the uh, girls, I only have basic knowledge about it. Um, I'm doing um, photo editing for my uh, own business page and I'm using also Canva. And also I'm using it for the email campaigns that I'm sending out before. But when it comes to video editing, um, to be honest, I do not have um, knowledge about it. But um, as you know, the, uh, we, we now have the internet, so all the available materials are there. So it, it's going to be easy to, to learn that, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. By the way, girls, it's not about editing, like doing crazy stuff. It's more about cutting things off and putting a title like it's nothing insane. But <laughs> go on in. Okay. Hi, um, um, when it comes to um, photo editing, uh, I do have the knowledge um, editing using the Canva and uh, Adobe uh, since I do love um, editing photos and in the video editing, um, I use the VN and video editor for um, cutting for the audio and also for the video. So I think I'm in the um, intermediate level and doing some um, video editing. Okay. Thanks, Eden. Thank you. So I'm next. So, by the way, um, I, 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 uh, um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, um, my photo editing is, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. I thought it was, okay. So, Photo editing is, I am also basic with it. I also use um, Instagram, um, Facebook, and TikTok. Um, in video editing, I also use, um, I use most is Instagram and TikTok. That's all. And I, by the way, the um, photo editing, I also use Canva. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Great. All right. Mm, let me see what else Naomi had to ask. I think these were the things that I needed to know. Um, if it's okay with you, Naomi, what I will ask the girls to do is to send me their MBTI profile in their disk um, in the chat. Remember how we did last time? And, uh, and then I can go from there because I think I got a good vibe from everyone. And then I can just decide someone as soon as possible so we can go on. Is that okay? Uh, for sure, Gabriella, that's definitely okay. So uh, you want their uh, Facebook profile or? No, so I'm gonna send here in the chat. So it's basically, hold on, 16 personality. I don't know, let me just get the website. Well, you know what, hold on a minute, mm -hmm. I will send the, um, the link to the tech because basically studying psychology for so long I like to know people's personality <laughs> um, and I'll send in the chat in the messenger the personality test and if you girls already have a disc profile if you can send me that as well um, just and then I can make a decision and we can move forward 
Okay. All right. That's uh, perfect. Thank you so much. We'll be waiting for the link, Gabriella. Just send it okay, on. Thank you. Is it the 16 personalities um, test? Yeah, it's a test. It's it's the Myer Bridge Trades Indicator test. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. No worries. Thank you so much for your time, ladies. Thank you, Gabriella. We'll wait for you. your link then. Okay. Have a great Thank one. you so much. Thank you, Ma'am Gabriella. Thank you, Gabriella. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.